So today I'm going to be setting up a reference for Microsoft Office uh, Word 2010. So what we're going to do is, let's say for instance you're writing an essay or some other document. What we can do is start up with some text and say for instance we want to put our reference right here. Normally what people often do is they type out the reference in this area here and then underneath they'll provide a bibliography or a works cited section. Um, and it becomes kind of confusing because it depends on the style that you want and also on the type of document that you're referencing. So instead what we can use is this handy tool in the references tab. So we can say insert citation and what I'm going to do is say add a new source. Now you can see here that all the fields that are required to cite that source become available there. So if I choose a web page, for instance, then we have different uh, fields there that you need to fill out in order to create a complete citation. Now sometimes these aren't all available, and for the most part I recommend just filling in as many as you can, um, and maybe talking to your instructor or your professor or whatever to discuss why you couldn't fill out all the rest. But sometimes it's impossible, especially with like, things like sound recording and uh, websites and such. So let's say, for instance, I have this book. Uh, so the author of this book I'm going to use is Jim Greenwood. The title of the book I'm going to reference is Think, Think Rugby. Okay, the year that it was uh, published was 2004, published in London. And the publisher is A and C B. Okay, then I just click OK, and there's my reference. Now later on, I can add other things. So let's say later on I reference that again. All I have to do is say insert citation, and you can see here that the citation has appeared there. Just click there and I get it cited again. So that way you don't have to enter it all over again. Then at the end, what you can do is after you've created all your sightings, you can change the styles to be whatever style you want. Uh, these are the most common ones. And then you just choose bibliography or works cited. So I'm going to choose bibliography and click it, and there's my bibliography right there. So it's pretty handy, pretty simple to set them up, and um, hopefully this helps.